guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today we're going to do a mixed media art journal page background. And what this is, is I'm going to use the uh, products that I have been using that you guys requested to see in a art journal page. Now, this is the watercolor background that I did with watercolor. Um, if you want to see that, I will post it uh, at the end of this video. You'll see it come up at the end or down below in the uh, description that you can go check out. Um, and we're going to be working. I got asked and you know, if we're going to be doing anything on here and we will, we'll be doing a page on top of there. And what I'm working in is just my magazine art journal, which is the Faber Castell. Um, quite a few of you have tried to get this and said that you can't. I'm not real sure. I got it. And um, like I said, I use it because a lot of these pages are very, um, you know, very pretty. So, yeah, so I, I, I wish I could help you more, but you don't have to use something like this. You can use your, um, you know, you can use a piece of printer paper. You can use any catalog that you get. Um, Finger Hut has great catalogs. They're nice and thick and um, you can get those. I know that you can get those for free because I get like six of a week here. Um, so check out fingerhut.com and see if you can get uh, a catalog from there. But like I said, you can use your art journal, whatever you have. These are just some pages that I've done. I'm gonna turn my auto focus off. Uh, say that three times, okay. And these are just some pages that I've done. I have videos, this is some uh, texture, and this is just an easy uh, minimum texture. I mean, look at this, this is, I don't even know if you could see the, oh, delicious. And yeah, so, you know, I've been working in here and doing different, this was a beginner's uh, art journal page, very simple. Another one, these are all on my channel, so you can check them out. This is the watercolor one that you guys have been asking if I'm gonna do, um, finish and do a page on top. And I will post that as well. Yeah, so here we go. We're gonna be using, I'm gonna let you know. I. There we go. I'm going to be using today a piece of uh, a page off this magazine and I gessoed it. I'm going to be using pen pastels. I'm going to be using stencils. I'm going to be using my uh, gelatos. And I think that's probably it. Um, but we'll go from there. You know, we'll go and play and see what we're going to use. I'm also going to use my stencil sprays. Um, just to add a little bit of something, something. We'll see. Well, let's go. Now, I do have makeup sponges that I got. Um, you can get these at your dollar store. I got these from holler.com. And I don't know if you guys have checked out holler. Uh, I will link it down below. It is a fantastic um, website where you can get everything from art and craft supplies to uh, a lot of children's stuff. You can get children's toys and uh, birthday stuff and clothes and kitchen stuff and bathroom stuff and oh jesus uh, i mean just so many things so if you're interested check out the link down below check it out uh it's a great site my daughter and i buy from it all the time because they have just such fantastic stuff there so i got these and like i said i just did this just with my folk art just so um, but you can use whatever gesso you have. And if you don't have gesso, use white uh, paint if you need to block something out just to get a little bit of a um, base on the page so it doesn't sink in so much. So we're going to use the Fabric Castells first. Now, of course, Fabric Castell uh, gelatos are not um, permanent. So they're going to be moving a little bit. But I want to start and I want to just lay some color down. So I'm going to do different pinks that I have here. Now, these are the gelatos, and as you can see, you can get these in, I think it's packages of five in different colors uh, for a price. Now, if you go on Amazon and look up Faber-Castell gel sticks, um, not gelatos, gel sticks, uh, you will find that you will get 12 of them, including the metallic, for like $10 or something, which is, um, they're sold, they're sold for kids, but they're the same exact things. So check those out if you are curious and want to try gelatos, but don't want to spend um, a lot of money getting them, you know, because you only get like four or five and it's all the same color. This way you get like the whole rainbow and metallic. So it's just, like I said, look up Faber-Castell gel sticks on Amazon and you'll be good to go. 
So I'm going to start with pink and I'm going to go the lightest. And I'm just, these are, if you don't know what these are, they are water soluble crayon sticks, I guess is the best way to describe them. And they look like little chapsticks. And all I'm going to do is lay down some of the color. Now you can use these in so many different ways and I'll use them in a couple different ways here. But for now, I just want to get some color. I mean, look how beautiful that color is. I just want to get some color. And you can see the texture of my gesso underneath. Now listen, if you don't want the texture, which I love the texture, if you don't want the texture, uh, when you put it on, let it dry, give it a very light sanding with a very, very fine kind of sandpaper if you want, um, or maybe even apply it with a sponge brush. I used a regular paintbrush, and as you can see, there's texture, but I love, I love texture. So that to me makes me very happy. Wait a minute. All right. So then let's start using, this is just dry and I'm going to, it's not wet just out of the package, but look, and you can see it takes those lines away, which I will bring back in different ones different parts, which you will see, but look at this. And it's just gonna spread it out. And like I said, that's dry. So, I mean, look at that. Yes, yes, I, I guess I should keep it out. I don't I don't know, it's hard to see how much you can see. I wanna make sure you see it all. And I'm gonna do the same here. And then let's go here. Just very pretty adding colors. Now you can see this is not spreading as much. It's actually tearing the sponge a little bit. So what I will do is just go in with a little spritz of water on the darker pink and, and then look what it does. It's like butter, right? Look, it turns it into a paint. And I'm just laying down color. There's no rhyme or reason. I always do light, you know, before I do the darker ones, but you can do it whatever way you want. And I'll show you about these blending. But you see how you can blend just very lightly. Very lightly, they all blend in together. Let's lay down, hmm. Let's lay down a little bit of this. Yeah, a little bit of this. Now you can see they're just the littlest bit uh, away from each other uh, as far as the colors go. Like this is a deeper color. And you can do the same thing that I did on the um, other page. If you saw the other video where we laid down color and then we wiped it off to get like a pattern. So I'll show you on here as well. Oh, I'm a little rough today. And this is just a damp sponge. But look, look at that. That'd be a nice lipstick color, wouldn't it? <laughs> and if you need a little bit more, just spray a little more or spray your, you know, whatever you're using. You can use a paintbrush. You can use a paper towel. Use whatever you have. Don't get locked into, oh, she's using this, that, the other. I have to use it. Just think about what you have and what you can use. And like I said, there's no rhyme or reason. I just want this to lay a color down. So now what I'm going to do is we're just going to do a quick um, lift off so I can kind of show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to take a dark color of the gelato and I'm going to lay it down like this. I'm going to take my damp, I was going to say beauty blender, my damp sponge, and I'm just going to lightly, I'm not going to put a lot of pressure. Okay, I'm just going to kind of blend it a little bit just to give it a little bit more. Now you can see when I go with the grain of the uh, gesso, it goes a little bit smoother, but you can do either way. And then I'm going to take, I'm just going to take a regular a regular uh, stencil, gonna wet another sponge, just wet a little bit, gonna go in 
and I'm gonna take some of that color back off. You don't want it too wet, you just want it damp. And then when you lift it up, look what you get. So you're getting this great texture on there. And all you're doing is lifting off some of the uh, gelato. So I'm going to do a couple of these. Now look at the color that came off because my <laughs> obviously this is a little dirty. My dog is chewing a bone underneath. I'm very sorry. Let's take some of this teal color. I don't think there's names on here. I'm not going to lie. This is like a green teal. Let's lay this here. Oh, it's like metallic. Fancy. We'll lay that there. And then let's do an orange. And we'll do an orange up here. You can see, you can lay it on top. I'm just going to do a little squirt, a little squirt. Let me in. And then just a little bit. Yeah, it's metallic. I don't know if you can see. that and then I'll do a little bit here. Whew, yeah and now this is a lot extra so I mean you can see you can really go on another page um, like I have this gessoed here and kind of wipe off because you know I hate wasting and just wipe off what you have left. Apparently that orange is a nice bright color and then you know when you go to work on this page you kind of have a background right? I'm going to take, hmm, I'm just going to stick with this because that's what I have sitting here. So I'll do this here and I'm going to still damp. So I'm going to take some of this off and that's light. You really can't see too much, but that's because this is light. This will get a good, good read on here. A little bit wet. And then you see, so you get that really great, you know, kind of a background where you didn't have to do too much. Now, I like to um, layer, layer, layer. So that's what we're going to do next. I am going to show you just a little bit how to make it a little bit more uh, permanent uh, when you're doing this. So I like, I uh, should have grabbed it, my Mod Podge mat. And let's pick a color. Let's do a dark blue. I, I did this in the other video as well. So I'm going to lay it down there. I'm just going to take a little bit on my brush. And that's what I will activate it with. Okay. And if you need a little bit of water, go ahead. It's just about getting it moist, which is a horrible word. And then I will lay this down and use it. And if you don't want to use your brush, by all means, use, use your uh, sponge again. Just dab it. And then we'll dab it here. Dab, 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 dab. Can you see? So you can see the different kind of consistency that you'll get. And then what I will do is just going to dry it real quick just so you can see. And then we're going to move on to something else. And all I'm doing is making sure the glue dries because that's the carrier for the gelato that will make it permanent. A lot of, it's, it is a lot of fun. A lot of fun playing around. Okay, so next I'm going to take a just a stamp. It's a normal stamp. It's a hard stamp. And I'm going to take a stamp marker. Now this could be any watercolor marker that you have. I want to do a dark color so you guys can see. We'll do blue again. This is from American 
American Crafts uh, stamp marker stays wet on stamps, two-tipped acid free, and it's in denim. So you get a brush side and then you get like a finer side. So all I'm gonna do is take this and run it on my stamp. This is a, this could be a Crayola watercolor marker, a Crayola marker, a, a Bic marker, a Sharpie marker, whatever you want, whatever you have. These are water soluble. I believe these are not permanent. Doesn't matter, but you see, I'm just, you know, and you can do this with your gelato as well. But what I'm going to do is, and you can see not stamping, you know, that's because this is a little bowed because I used it with my UT. You see it comes up and we're just building a background and again mixed media you don't have to have crisp you know nice lines so I'm gonna put this here and then we can go in with a wet brush if you want you can see if you don't like it and I'm going to leave those, but you can see you can dab it and make it into almost, you know, a watercolor look. So if it goes on and you're like, I don't like this, I don't like, you know, whatever, you definitely can, can play with it a little bit and do that. But I really love the stamps. So you can definitely uh, use these as if you would do, you know, your gelatos or, you know, whatever you have. Now I love making um, cutting stamps out of the, you know, what's it called? Who makes this? I can't recall the name where you can make your own stamps. You get like that paint. I, I can't, if you remember the name, put it down below. Cause I can't remember. So I love doing that as well. And what I will do is let me get a different marker. Let's do Oh, and you can see how dark that is so that goes on now I've showed you before how you could take kids fun foam the kids foam and make your own stamps which is a lot of fun and you could use it in the same way as this but you can see I'm just gonna stamp Here my but look how cool and that's just a stamp I sat and carved myself no big deal you get a nice sheet i don't even i, I will remember the name and you just go and stamp and stamp and what you're doing is adding like texture to the background okay a lot of fun a lot of fun to make these i like to make little um different kind of pieces this is what it, it comes like in a a square you know like a pretty nice square and then you just cut it and use it for what you want it for i don't know if i have any more sitting here and then i do just little just little pieces you know because you get so much more of a variety right so then i do that and now what i'm going to do is just hit everything with my heat gun it is not going to make it permanent but it will dry it and if I, when I put something on top of here, it will definitely uh, help it not smear as bad. Okay. Now I'm going to take some white. Uh, my obsession lately is off white. So this is antique white, you know, but you can use like a light yellow or you can use white. You can use whatever color you want, but I'm just going to kind of do some ploops like that. I'm going to take my brush and just show you real quick. This is, um, where did I put it right here? One of the parts that I use with the Mod Podge and you see when I do this, you can see that the underneath is coming off, but the blue is not because the blue was mixed with the Mod Podge. The underneath was not. And you see how you get so i mean that's really cool so you can see how that stays permanent and then you know the underneath you can remove if you want 
not the biggest deal, but, and you can see here, I'm going in and it's going to take that orange off as well. So, you know, the more you scrub, that's what's going to happen. I'm just going to take my brush. I'm actually going to take a bigger brush. You can use a foam brush. Don't be afraid to go and get the foam brushes five for a dollar at your craft store or dollar store. Those work perfectly as well. And I'm going to lay, I want my brush a little wet. I know it's going to lift up some of the color, but I'm okay with that. I'm not going to go over too much because I don't want it to be too, you know, too much. I'm going to take, now you can take another piece of paper, which I don't have. Do I have? Yes, I do. You could take a piece of printer paper or whatever paper you have and start this to be your like cast off paper. You know, like if you have extra. La, 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 la. And then look what we're starting here. Look at that. Gorgeous already starting a mixed media paper. So you're getting a twofer, not bad. And I'm just going to hit this with my heat gun just to kind of get some of that off of there, that water. You can use your towel, paper towel, whatever you're using. But look how pretty that is so far. And what I love is that I like, like I said, using the antique white, off white, dirty white, whatever they're called. Um, but you can use whatever, but you can see how it pulls up that color underneath and it just gives you, I don't know, it just gives you this beautiful color. And I didn't put too much of it. I didn't put too much of it there. So you can still see some of that coming through. Okay. So now we're going to do some pan pesto. And I'm using, you know, you get these little sponges you can buy for them like this. I'm just going to play. We're doing mixed media. So I will have a video coming up using the pan pastels and talking about them, you know, separately. But for now, we're going to use them in the mixed media. And this is just a layering stencil from uh, Folk Art from Plaid. And it's a butterfly and um, has words. So we're going to see and play with it and see what we can do. Okay. And what this is, these are fantastic. You get a, uh, I want to say a block out <laughs> stencil and I can't think of the name. Does it have it on here? Maybe the silhouette. So you get that, you get the cutout of it and you get words. So there's three different parts to this and they're all equally as fun. So we will play with those in a second. I have this and I'm gonna pick, I kinda wanna stick with light colors. Although this magenta is just so nice. Um, I know, I'm gonna go with my favorite green, the citrus green kind of color. I also have metallics. I don't know if I'll be using those today. I will use those in the other video, but I think today we'll just go with light colors. Now this is just a case that you can buy for them. They come just like this. This is called bright yellow green. And I think, what do I want to do first? Okay. I think, I think I'm going to do this. Okay. So I'm going to take these because I just want to try this. I'm going to lay the ugh, sticking together. I'm going to lay the stencil down, right? That's just the plain stencil. And then I'm going to lay the words over top. And I'm not worrying about the words making sense or anything. It's more of the look that I want. Now I will tell you, I don't have it sitting here right now. I wish I did. They do sell stencil tape, which would be fantastic to use on this. And um, the next time I will definitely show you those but I'm just going to go in and it's like a powder and you just go in like that and I'm going in and let's see it might not be dark enough but we're going to see and you see I'm just kind of rubbing it in and I use these the same as I do my gelatos I might have to use a darker color. Let's use a darker color. Let's use this uh, kind of rusty orange color. 
Let's do it so you can see it. If you're going to go for it, let's go for it. And let's see how this comes out. I want to concentrate in the middle. And look at that. You see how it made it a butterfly? Oh, so much fun. Look at that. And I love the double color. Do you see it? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, love it. These are a lot of fun. These are pan pastels. They're called pan pastels because they're pastel uh, art product, but they're in a pan. And they're a lot of fun. So I love the way that came out with the double. Oh, I love it. Let's try. Let's do the light blue. We'll do one more. And what I'll do is... Let's try it on a stamp and see. Let's see if we can get it going here. I'm just gonna put it on here like that. You can see it, you get a lot of uh, pigment. I'm gonna pat it on. Now, because it's powdery, I don't know what we're gonna get, but we will see. If you don't try, you don't know. So I wanted to do this. I wanted to show, you know, both of these water, you know, non-permanent, I guess, items and how you can use them and not be afraid. No, not going to see anything in there, but you can see it's very light, but that's not going to work in there. It needs to be wet. Uh, so, you know, we'll have to do that a different way. So I'm going to take some of this off. and put it there, just wet my brush a little bit. And you can see. We'll do some more words. This is just with water. And it makes a muddy mess, not the best. So what I'll do next is clean my brush, clean this. We are going to lay down a little bit of Mod Podge. Just like that. I'm going to take some, let's do this color because this is a bright color. What color is this? Permanent red shade. I'm going to tap because I do have some, you can see it's dusty. Let's see if that'll be enough. Yeah. You see how that makes a delicious creamy lipstick color that I would love to wear as lipstick. Okay. Well, that red color is everywhere. That really enjoys life, that red color. <laughs> it's a, uh, you know, and then I'm going to tap. And I'm not worrying where or what words I'm getting. I'm just going to show you here what we got. Just tap it. You might even want to use a stenciling brush if you have one. This is not a stenciling brush. So I have to really tap it, but I think you get my drift, catching my drift. Okay. And you see how you get the letters I will wipe that off because the glue will will stain yeah bring my thing down I'll stick my arm in it and then and like I said I could have used a stencil brush it might have been a little bit better I'm not worried because I'm doing the mixed media and um I mean look how pretty very very nice now I know when I go over this it's going to smear Now I will tell you a hint, a little tip. Obviously you can buy uh, like a pastel fixative and I have one and I don't have it here. But if you don't have a pastel fixative, many, many people, and I have not tried it, say that they go to the dollar store and they buy aerosol hairspray. 
And that is how they fix, you know, the fixative. That's how they fix the stuff on the page. Now you can buy like a Krylon fixative and that kind of stuff as well. Um, but yeah, people go for a dollar and buy like Aqua Nut hairspray, you know, whatever. And they give it a quick spray, it dries, and then they can go over it because it's essentially a lacquer. Now, it is not archival. Please do not leave me any comments down below on blah, 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 this and that. It'll eat the paint, whatever. People have been doing this for as long as I've been doing art journaling and everything else. So that is a choice that you want to make to play and, you know, fix things. And you don't have a lot of money and you're not worrying about this last in 120 years. By all means, do it. Um, next time I go to the, the uh, dollar store, we'll grab one uh, so we can try it. But again, you know, that's completely up to you. Uh, it's something to play with. It's something to, when you're starting out or you don't have a lot of money and you want to play and you, you know what I mean? Do it. It's not going to hurt them. That's all I got to say. You know, I know everybody has their own opinion and you're fine to have your opinion. I don't care. I'm just saying. Okay. So you can see a lot of fun and I'm going to take my brush and rinse it off. And I'm going in. Now you can see I still got color on my brush here. I should probably pick a different brush. Because that orange, red, or whatever color that is, is a, that's a strong one. Now look. It's still kind of coming off there. Now you can still see it underneath. The uh, It might not be dry all the way either. See, because that's not coming off. Just the underneath is. So, yeah, I just need to leave it dry a little bit longer. Not the biggest deal. Still love it. Still good. I'm going to set these aside. I will be doing a, like I said, a video playing with these a little bit more in depth where this is all, you know, that I will do for you guys because you guys keep asking and I love to do what you guys ask. Okay. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. All right. So now I've showed these before as well. These you get at the dollar store. You can get, I think these come sometimes four in a pack, different sizes. These are a lot of fun, very inexpensive. I'm going to take some purple stencil spray from uh, Folk Art. And now I haven't used this since I think the last video. And it's not, uh, look how pretty. It has not, and then you can just turn it over and get the other print. What was I going to say? It's not clogged. So that's a win win. And then you just turn it over and you see, you get, see, we're just getting some of that goodness on there. And you could take your paper that you have, pick up any extra on here that you might have. See any extra wetness on here and you're just starting another page which you can even glue into the next art journal right and then let's do a little bit here with some red shaking 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 you know what i'm going to use i know what we'll use next so i'm just going to do a spray just to show you and then i'll do a little bit down here i know what we'll use next And then, like I said, just taking that up. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. Next, we're going to use, this is the acrylic spray that we made. And you can hear I got that glass bead in there, getting all that up from the bottom. You can see some of that shiny down there. And I'm just going to give some sprays. These did not clog as well. This is the mist one, the, uh, oh, what's it called? Perfect mists that we did. Love it. And then let's do this one and see. Hear that bead in there. And that just gets all the particles up from the end, from the bottom. Oh, look at that one. Spraying, spraying. I'm going to hit it. 
just for a minute and then I'm gonna soak up the rest and I'm gonna keep you here for six million hours. I love these letter, you know, they sell them for kids, right? To learn how to uh, trace and get their letters, but these things are great. I have so many of them and they really, you know, you get a lot of bang for your buck. I mean, you get a few, you know, in a package, but you really can do like, you can do them bright. You can do letters, you can do uh, words, you can do, you know, dark. I mean, you can do so many things with it. All right, now I just sucked up whatever didn't lay. Love that. And then you can see, this is a mixed media background. Now, you know what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna take more of this antique white. I'm gonna just do a few plops, not going nuts. I'm gonna take my brush. Now, listen, you don't wanna use a brush and you wanna use a makeup sponge. Maybe you have a makeup sponge. Go ahead and just dab where you wanna dab. And you're just gonna push back some of the, you know, you have a little bit more control, which I know some people don't like to uh, lose their control when they're doing, a lot of people don't like mixed media for that reason, um, because you like to have control, but you definitely can have controlled chaos. You don't have to, uh, you know, think that you're gonna lose it. But you see, now I'm gonna push some of this back here. And if I'm like, oh no, I pushed a little bit too far, you just real quick, give it a spray, take a paper towel, give it a wipe, and then look at that. Comes back through, you know? I love it. That's why I love mixed media. It's so freeing. It's so much fun. And look, that's it. Now we can do a great you know, topper on it, a great picture, a great face, a great uh, collage, whatever you want. And I will do that in the uh, future. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. So you can see how you definitely can use your gelatos, your pan pastels, uh, watercolor, you know, markers in a mixed media background and really make it work for you. Now, I know that, you know, somebody's going to say to me, but Kel, when you go to do your, you know, on top, it's going to pull through. I don't mind it pulling through. If you mind it pulling through, take your Mod Podge mat, your white school glue, whatever you use, and throw a coat down. I don't know if I have a dry. Let me use this one. You want to use a dry brush. Don't wet it. Stick it in your glue. <laughs> and that 10-year-old boy comes out. This is like the worst brush right now. I think I ruined it. And all you'll do is, yep, worst brush in the world because I, it was my fault I ruined it. Uh, let's do this one, I'll dry it. You don't want it wet. You only want it wet from the glue because the water will, of course, really activate. And then, you know, what are you going to do? You're going to smear everything, which isn't the end of the world. But you don't want to go over it a million times. You just want to go over it once. So it seals the bulk of it, you know, and you can see it smears a little bit. It's not a big deal. If it bothers you, just pat it out a little bit. And then there you go. Leave it dry. So then when you go to work, it'll be fine. And you used all your supplies that's been sitting around because you just don't, you know, know exactly what you're always going to use them for. A lot of fun. Um, a million different things we can do with these things. But for me, mixed media backgrounds, the fun uh, the funnest, the most funnest. And I'm going to lift this up for you to see. Uh, I just love it. I just love it. And you know what? It's, I don't want to say pastel, but it's not in your face dark. You know, I love the dark colors. But this is like really, it looks like it should be, I might even scan this page in. It looks like it should be a, uh, you know, picked a, page that you get in a magazine that you rip out, you know, that they give you free. Look at that. I might scan this in and put it on my website. And then you guys can go download it for free and print it out and use it. Cause I, I love this page. I'm not being biased. I just love it. All right.
All right. So listen, I really appreciate you guys watching this. Anything else you guys want to see, let me know down below. And leave me a thumbs up if you enjoy my videos. Please share me everywhere. I appreciate it greatly. Please go check out my daughter, Emily, and my husband, Dave. Emily has a makeup channel, and she did a great tag with her, uh, not a great tag, a great uh, video with her boyfriend where he put makeup on her. And Dave does reviews of books and movies and Netflix stuff. And please go check them out. I will link them as well at the end here with the other links. And yeah, I just, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this. So as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Progress, not perfection. If you have any of these, play. Just play. You're not going to ruin them. You're going to have a blast. Tag me if you use them. Let me know. I want to thank all of you for tagging me with your sugar skulls. I love them. Uh, they are fantastic. Uh, you guys are tagging me like crazy in the group. I absolutely love it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.